So hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, today I will be showing you around my school. So I will be showing you places and location, sight and sound from China Cultural University. So. So this is this is international student apartment. The whole of this building is for international students. This is where we live actually. This is our abode. <laughs> So, uh, also, this building you are seeing here is a kitchen area, restaurant area. Uh, the whole of this building is for this kitchen, uh, so restaurant, but it's actually for Chinese delicacy. So, if you are not, if you are not okay with Chinese food, you are not you don't like the taste you can't actually come here so it's a whole lot it's a very very big facility as you can see so yeah, so. so hello so it's a very very big facility on the normal day me i don't come here to eat because is strictly Chinese. All their food, all their delicacy, the spices, everything is Chinese. So, if you are not okay with that, it's not advisable you come here to eat. So, uh, there is uh, another restaurant outside. There are so many other restaurants. So, I will also show you there. So, So, this building you are looking at also is another restaurant, is another kitchen area. This one particularly consists of close to like four or six different type of restaurants uh, that sell uh, different kind of dishes, Chinese, uh, intercontinental and uh, Muslim uh, food. Uh, so, maybe later when i'm coming back because now i'm going to my college i will i will make a short video inside the muslim restaurant it's a very very big one here so so this on my way to my college so you can just have a feel of how the compound of my school, China Agricultural University, look like. So, this is like a garden area for students to unwind. Some students go there to play love, all this kind of thing. Niha. So, these are residential area, student area. These are student Chinese student apartments, and this is their garden area. You can see some of them spreading their bed cover. You can see. Niha, how are you? Fine. How are you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long time no see. How are you? Fine. Good, good, good. I'm good. I'm good. Bye. Bye. Oh, so that's one of my friends. Sometimes if you speak Chinese to them, they find it very hard to, to understand because there is no really way you can actually speak it like them. I was asking her how Jebuje, how Jebuje is just like a uh, long time no see. How have you been? 
where have you been? And it's just our friend that picked that and was telling her that that was what but I'm asking her about. So so yeah so you can see the trees are bringing out so so many beautiful flowers so many beautiful flowers because uh summer is coming hello, hello. how are you how are you <laughs> which college are you uh college of environmental sciences oh timbudo <laughs> okay 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 she, 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 she. Zaijen, Zaijen. Yeah. They don't understand English. I was like trying to ask them <laughs> where is their college. So they don't understand. Majority of the Chinese don't understand English and they don't give a bluff about it. That's just the beauty of how uh, Chinese people. They regard their language as one of the best and that's actually it's supposed to be. So, on my way to the college, today, maybe I will try and see my supervisor to have some kind of discussion. I hope you are seeing, you are enjoying your, your time on this video. And if this is your first time of watching my channel, this channel is actually dedicated to profitable and sustainable agriculture, just to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. It's a way of uh, using my knowledge uh, my own uh, experience and try to help farmers dish out information, uh, advice about how to actually practice agriculture in a more profitable, sustainable and a better way to achieve higher yield. So, and my name is Lawa Lushala Lawa. In case you are watching for the first time and you don't know the person behind this channel. My name is Lawa Lushala Lawa. I'm a farmer by education, I'm a farmer by training, I'm a farmer by practice, I'm a farmer by pro profession. So I'm a consultant, agronomist, uh, agriculturist. So that's basically what I do. I have a bachelor degree from University of Illinois. So and here I'm in China Agricultural University uh, doing my master's uh, degree, <laughs> professional master's degree for that matter. Uh, in. Uh, resource utilization and plant protection so today i'm not doing any video about any agricultural topic i'm just making a video around my school so today i'm going to my college i just feel like let me just make a short video maybe 10 20 minutes and show you guys around my school how it looks like uh Summer is coming here and all the trees are bringing out beautiful flowers and, <clears throat> and bright colored uh, leaves. You can see everywhere is turning out to be very uh, great, Look, everything looking nice. So I hope you are enjoying your time here. I'm very close to my college right now. So I just think I should at least show my face today. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is my college. This is my college. I'll be going on very soon now. So there's the face in case you are watching for the first time. There's the small boy behind uh, this channel. And guys, you'll be having a very good time around today i'll be showing you around my school so sit back and enjoy the video so guys as i was saying this is my college this is a college of resource uh, utilization this is college of uh, environmental sciences so my own department is uh, resource utilization and uh, plant protection so i'll be going in right now so you can see the college is a very very big one as you can see, very, very big. It's one of the oldest colleges in China, Agricultural University. And we have so many, many people there. And let's go in.
I just hope I meet my supervisor in office because it's like there's a Chinese holiday. There's a Chinese festival since two days ago. They've been going around dropping flowers at every corner, dropping flowers with every status around the campus. So and as you can see, everywhere is somewhere, some, somehow dry. But I'll show you some inner part of my college now. I'm about to enter. So. So this is the entrance. Yeah. So, in case you are wondering, what is Neha? Neha is, hello, like, how are you? You good? So, <laughs> Neha, you've learned a Chinese word on my channel today. Okay. So, this is the office area for my school. For my college not in this class area i'm going right now to my supervisor's office i just hope he's around and just to have some kind of time with him discuss some of my issue with him so i doubt it okay You see, this is my supervisor's name. He's a dean of the college. Professor. Hey. Neha. Neha. So guys, I'm very, very lucky. I met him in the office and we just finished our discussion. So let me go this way. I just came here to cool off, nothing much. So this is one of uh, the classroom, uh, the lecture room in our college. So I'll be spending some time here just to relax and cool off. I have some little work to do. So see you guys. I will still continue the video maybe later sometime. So, what I have to show you the view, how it looks like. So, guys, I'm just coming out from my supervisor's office, and you can see it's a holiday here, and Chinese students are having fun. They are playing in the sun because everybody is trying to enjoy the sun and because that's the beauty of summer you get time to play outside it's not that cold and the beauty of it is that you get some warmth from the from the sun so this is china agricultural university once again and i'll be showing you around some sites from my school from my school so this is the archive.
This is archive from my school. Hello. How are you? Oh. <laughs> Playing, playing badminton. <laughs> Fixing bicycle. Hey, ha. Oh. The weather is good and we are here. Okay guys, I will show you some parts of the library here on West Campus, part of the library. So this is the entrance of the library. I'm entering right now. So I will put my card to gain entrance. So guys, this is the entrance I'm about to enter now. Can see almost everywhere is full. Hello, how are you?
comes the head desk over there. So I'll be going out now. I just came here to show you some part of the library because I was passing by. So in my next video, I will show you we have a very big library. One of the finest library in China in my school. Okay. Okay. And I'm out. I'm out, man. So, uh, that is just part of one of the library here in uh, West Campus. So, the main library is at the East Campus. That one is one of the most finest, is the finest library in any China university. So, and it's very, very automated. I'll be making a very well detailed video in that library for you guys. Maybe some days now, uh, next week, I'll be making some videos there. So, I'm on my way back. Oh, yo. Ni hao. So, I'm going home. I'm going back to my hostel right now. How are you? It's a very very lovely view. Summer is here. Summer is coming. Everywhere is looking blossom. Flowers are coming out. Green uh, trees are becoming green, and that's the beauty of summer. Plain love. Just see this beautiful view of this flower tree. Very, very beautiful. 
very very beautiful hello niha how are you pavilion 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 yeah very beautiful can see the tree looking good it's a very very lovely flower very very good <laughs> they are having some shoot. Okay, everybody's coming here to take some shot. Hello. Hi. Hey, Niha. So, taking you to a place now before I go to back to my hostel I would like you to show you something nice now so this is another student apartment for Chinese students it's a male hostel and you can see bicycle in front you can see So close to the gate, this hostel is actually one of the closest to the gate. You can see that's the outside gate. Everybody's on mask. Corona is still around. I just hope very soon the COVID pandemic will be over and we'll hold it on back to normal life. Okay. So uh, welcome to the package area. This is the package area when a student uh, buy something online and you buy something online, this is where you come to pick your package. The, the seller will send it to, to you through Fright and you will get a message from your phone with a secret code. So when you come here, you you put the secret code here you enter the secret code in the box then the box will open then you pick your package it's a very very smooth system of uh, delivery in china and also you can come here to pick if if the goose is a is a little bit big cannot contain the box you can come here to pick and you have your goods delivered to your doorstep Pongyo, you? Niha, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, how Jabuje? Jabuje. Ah. So, and also, if you want to send something out, you come here, you come to the office here, so you bring your goods to send. Niha. Oh, I need cotton. So you come here to send again. It's a very, very effective and smooth system. So as you can see, the box has so much. So you can buy something very far and in three four days you will receive you will come to the box enter your pin the box will open and you get your stuff very very efficient and smooth system of delivery here in china you can buy something of one yuan online like one naira so you get it delivered everything the delivery you don't pay for delivery it has been calculated and the amount in the amount you pay so that is how the delivery service works see my friend see my friend see my friend how are you niha how do you
that is one of the attendants at the uh, package service area she's a good friend and so this is another hostel a female hostel uh, for Chinese students Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Your English is good. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. You too. <laughs> but, uh, Chingo, you the Indian. Me. Oh. You the Indian. Chingo, you the Indian. Chingo, you the Indian. Uh, oh. Your your English is good. Eha, eha. Ah, ah. Pelian, Pelian. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> when you compliment them that they speak good English they are so so happy because few Chinese speak English and they don't give a bluff about English they value their language more than anything so if by chance you come across a Chinese speaking English oh it's very very rare for you so I'm almost back to my hostel. So I'll be showing you some view of this restaurant it's another restaurant chinese restaurant for that matter This is the view. This is how it looks like. Hey, huh? So this is like soup, and it's actually free. If you buy food, you will have a soup to drink. And see the dishes is a Chinese restaurant. Me, I don't eat, I don't eat here. So it's very very big something. And when you finish eating, you come here to drop your plate. Everything is for the last. You come here, drop your feet, and everything gets cleaned. So, guys, I'm back to my hostel, the International Student Apartment. You are seeing it right here. So, thank you. Niha. Pavilion, Pavilion. So, I'm back home. I'm back to my hostel. Hello? Hello? Huh? What? How are you? How are you? You? You. 
Yes. You, this. You won't forget. Oh, no, no, no. What's your name? Bye bye, bye bye. Shama, bye bye. Shama, Zay Jay. Hmm? Yo, go. You are not serious. <laughs> Those are our receptionists. They are, in, they are the ones in charge of the international student department. They don't like cam camera at all. So my floor is fifth floor. I'm going up. So, fifth. Yeah, let's go. So welcome to my abode. This is my floor. So thank you for watching. See you on my next video.